Hello good day viewers. Here is question number 10 of YAC 2023 Mathematics Examination. The question is related to bearing and distance. The question reads, in a town, Chief X resides 60 meter away on a bearing of 57 degrees from a palace P, while Chief Y resides on the bearing of 150 degrees from the same palace P. The residence of X and Y are 150 meter apart. A. Illustrate the information in a diagram. B. Find correct three significant figures, the bearing of X from Y and the distance between P and Y. All right, let us start with the first one. They say we should illustrate this information in a diagram. Um, there is something very important in bearing. That what from? Let me find it. You can see that here. From. Whenever you hear the word from, it means you should measure whatever from that position, whether it is an angle or a distance. So we are going to calculate this 57 degrees from P. So the first point we need to locate is P. And we are going to calculate 57 degrees from P, major 60 meters down to X. So that's what it means here. So let's assume we have a point right here, which is point P. And you should know that every single point contains a north pole. But I am going to draw all the four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. So this is the north, this is the south, this is the east, this is the west. So we are going to calculate 57 degrees from P down to X because that's what the question is saying. Uh, X is 60 meters away from P and what? 57 degrees from P. So let us measure 57. What you should know about this cardinal points, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is all this are 90 degrees. But 57 you should know is less than 90. So we are going to do a rough sketch, not on scale. So let's assume this is what we have, and you should know that this is 60 meter away. So we have another point here, which is point X, right? This angle right here is 57 degrees, and you should write it in three figures, 0, 5, 7 degrees. And because the total angle here is 90 degrees, what do you think we have left? We have 33 left. So this is 33. I can write 33 in just two digits because it's not part of the question. Next, we have another residence of Y, which is 150 degrees from the same location. It means that we are going to measure another angle, which is 150. What you should remember is that every angle must be calculated or must be measured from the knot. So we are going to measure this 150 from this knot of P down to 150. Already this is 90. To get to 150, we need 60 extra. And that 60 uh, is more than half of 90, right? So by assumption, I can draw something like this, right? I should know that this also contains four cardinal points. All right, something like this. Um, this must be 60 degrees, right? 60 degrees. Because 57 plus 33 plus 60 will give us that 150. That's our main goal. We want to make sure the whole of this angle is 150, which we don't have to write because we have other smaller angles. So this is what we have. This is point Y. And the total angle right here will be what? 33 uh, plus 60, which is 93 degrees. This is 93 degrees. Okay. So they said that the distance from X to Y is 150. So now let us connect X and Y. So this is X and Y. We have 180 meters apart. So we have just illustrated the information in a diagram, which is the A part. Then secondly, the B part, we are asked to find the bearing of X 
from y. That word from is very important. So how can we calculate the angle? The angle must be calculated from y down to x. So y is y, this is y, and every angle must be measured from the knot. This is the knot of y. You're going to measure this angle from the knot clockwise until you hit that line leading to x. This is the line leading to x. And we are going to calculate all the angles. And how can we do that? You can see from here to here is 90. From here to here is 90. From here to here is 90. Already we have what? 270. We have to also calculate this and this. But this one is known to be 60. Why? I will tell you why. This is 60 degrees. Because it is alternate to this angle. Look at them. We have two parallel lines and a transversal line. So therefore, those two angles are said to be alternate to each other and alternate angles must be equal. So we know that this is 90, 90, 90, 60. The only angle we need to find is this one. Then we add all of them together in order to get the bearing of x from y. So now let us calculate theta. We can use sine rule uh, because we have opposite side and an angle, right? We have another side and a given angle, so we can use sine rule. Since we are looking for theta, we can see that sine theta, which is the angle we are looking for, divide by the opposite side, which is 60 meters. This must be equal to sine of that other angle, which is 93 degrees, divided by the opposite side, which is 180. Then we make sine theta the subject by multiplying both sides by 60. Therefore, sine theta is equal to 60 multiplied by sine of 93 degrees divided by 180. So I'm going to use my calculator to press everything here direct. What I have here is approximately equal to 0 0.333 approximately. But since we are looking for the angle, we take sine inverse of both sides. And hence, theta will be equal to sine inverse or arc sine of 0 0.333. So let me press it on my calculator. Theta equal to 19.45 degrees. And hence, this angle right here, theta is 19.45 degrees. So how can we calculate the bearing of x from y? Therefore, the bearing... Of x from y is equal to you calculate all this angle round we have 90 degrees here another 90 degrees another 90 degrees plus 60 degrees and lastly plus theta which we have just often to be 19.45 degrees so let's add all of them together. 90, 90, 90, we have 270. Then plus 60 plus 19.45 altogether. We have um, this to be equal to 349.45 degrees. Well, let me look at the question more again. They say correct to three significant figures. So what are the three significant figures here? One, two, three. All of them are significant. So we say that this is equal to three, four, nine degrees in what three significant figures. And we have just answered this question. Then the next question, we are asked to find the distance between P down to Y. P down to Y. This is P, this is Y. We want to find their distance apart. So let me call the distance x. But I think it is important to find this angle. And you know the total angles in a triangle are equal to 180. Already this is 19.45 and this is 93. We are going to take them away from 180 just to get angle PXY. So let me find angle PXY. Angle PXY y is equal to 180 degrees minus 93 degrees minus 
which other angle again? Theta, which is 19.45. 19.45 degrees. And this is equal to 180 minus 93 minus 19.45 altogether. We have 67.55 degrees. So this is the angle. I can even write it here. 67.55. Again, we can use sine rule to find the distance apart, which is x. We can say that x divided by sine of this angle would be equal to one of the sides, 180 divided by sine of 93. So x divided by sine of that angle, which is 67. 0.55 must be equal to 180 divided by sine of 93 degrees. We make x the subject by multiplying both sides by this, and hence x equal to 180 multiplied by sine of 67.55 divided by sine of 93. Again, I'm going to use my calculator, press everything directly x is approximately equal to 166.587 but they said in three significant figures remember we are looking for py the distance and therefore py is equal to 167 because this is the third significant number but the next number is greater or equal to 5 therefore you have to round this up and this is the distance in meters right and this is all about these questions thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos let us move on to question number 11